Hey guys, Sunbeam here. Welcome back to my channel. And um, it's time for Ella's debate. Like, she has to be in like four minutes, so she's gotta like get ready to go like right now. So I'm just gonna send her there, and then I'll uh, tell you guys what happened overnight. Nothing major, just something uh, happened. I wanted to read. So as I said in the last part, today is an olive day because yesterday was a complete McKenna day, and today is going to be a complete olive day. And then maybe on Sunday, you know, maybe tomorrow we'll make it a both of them kind of day. <laughs> maybe visit the family back at home. So um, it is time for her debate, and here she is. It says, get your debate pants on, people. It's time for the debate guild's debate showdown out at the You Right Quad. Oh my god, we can have a debate with a defaced statue. Let's go clean up the statue. I can't believe someone would do this. Who would dare deface our bright Chester U beautiful statue? But um, anyway... She's so cute on her bike. Hold on. Look at her. Oh, she's such a cute little nerd. Look at her. Ooh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, oh my god. I love her. I love Olive. She's so cute. Um, so anyway, um, overnight, pretty much, Olive works her butt off. She identified a fish somehow, some way. I don't know. Um, <clears throat> and it says, Olive's turn presentation looks great. She can continue fiddling with it, but at this point, further refinement will only serve to better her understanding of the course without making the presentation any better. So she pretty much pr finished her entire presentation before anything. So here she is. She's cleaning up the statue. She's like, I don't understand why people are so mean. Look at her face. She's like, people are so rude. She's like, I don't get why people are so mean to our beautiful little statue. So uh, she has to participate in the debate showdown. She has to. So let's have her do that. Oh, she's in like a little cute little debate outfit. Get it, girl. Let's participate in the debate showdown. Let's see what's happening. Right, who's this? Oh, it's Paka Uga Huga. Huma Huma Numa Numa Apua. You guys remember that song from like a uh, High School Musical 2 or something? Uh, so here we are. Oh, we're about to do our first debate. Oh, go ahead, girl. Get it. We're debating uh, Eric Lewis. Pff, should be a freaking uh, easy task. Okay, so... So what are we talking about? I wonder what we're debating. I wish you could like choose. I don't know, but she's like so confident. She's like, look, he looks like he's losing it. He's like losing it. He's breaking down and she's like, oh, this dude, like I can't get it. Look at her, she's like, what is he even talking about? Look at her, she's so bored. She's like, what is this guy even talking about? I love that face, oh my God, okay. Um, She's like, money, money, simoleons. We all need simoleons. And he's like, oh my god, I'm losing. Look at her. He's like, she knows what she's talking about. She knows her stuff. Look at her. She's like, obviously, everyone needs simoleons and everyone misses this. And I don't know what she's saying. <laughs> oh no, wait, what happened? She looks so unconfident there. Come on, you got this. You got this. You better not lose to Eric Lewis. Lewis. Look at her. She's like, obviously. She's such a smart. Girl. She's like, oh my god. I'm dealing with complete imbeciles. <laughs> like being a perfectionist. This is like her biggest. Look at this. So many people showed out. And who is this with the hair? I cannot. Brianna Games. Oh my god, not her again. The showdown judges. I wonder what they're thinking. You guys, what are they thinking of us? Who's gonna win? And then here is everybody watching. Come on, guys, vote for me. I obviously know my stuff. I obviously know what I'm talking about. And why are you walking over here? Go away. Yeah, but toy trains for kids. <laughs> oh my god. Did you go behind us to watch what we're debating about? Can you go away? She's like, equality. Equality for all toys. I don't know. She's so bored. She's like, oh, what is he talking about? I, I just, he doesn't even know. I worked on this all night. I know what I'm talking about. So now she's like, yes. And there's polar, there's a polar bears. There's bears and cubs and, oh my god, what are you even debating about? You went from like, freaking money to trains to bears. What are you guys talking about? Are you talking about kid toys? Are you debating about kid toys and how much they cost? And that's what I'm gonna say. That's what we're gonna. That's the story. We're sticking to it. He's debating about kid toys, and that's what they're debating about. Oh, it looks like... Oh! Oh! Yay! She won! <laughs> the public has agreed. Oh my god, she's feeling super confident. Okay, deaf debater. 
deft, deft, bleh, deft, I was right, <laughs> from debating opponent. Winning a debate is neat, but winning a professional debate, now that's impressive. Oh my god, that's so awesome, she won! Oh gosh, yes! And look at her, she's feeling super confident, she beat every- oh my god, is that- <gasps> Wait, what? Where did it go? What was that? And where did it go? Why did it- dis What? Was that a medal for winning and I didn't get it? That kind of irritates me. Now we just have to watch our other friend, like, uh, debaters debate. And why are there ghosts here? This is not okay. Uh, she definitely did just debate a topic, but I guess she has to do, like, a regular debate. So these two are now going against each other, and as part of the team, the club, I have to watch. But I did win. I wonder if this, I'm gonna win, like, in general. Do I- I wonder, because I have, I've never actually experienced winning, like, <gasps> In general, like, what does that say? Oh, school spirit day is happening at the Foxbury campus. Oh my god, I'm so sorry, McKenna, but um, it's not your day. <laughs> it's really about Olive today, and she is killing it. She's so confident. She's like, I know I'll win. I am the best debater here. I don't know what anyone's talking about. So Priya doesn't seem like she knows what she's talking about against uh, Paka A Yuha. <laughs> But these two are like, I don't know what they're debating about. Let's see. Let's see if we can make out what they're debating about. Because it's definitely different. They're like military personnel. And uh, I have no idea. Let's speed this up just a little bit. I want to see who is going to win. What's up with you? Oh, you have to pee? There's like no bathroom stalls around, is there? Can you go to like the, yeah, go here for a second. Like, can you lead the debate for a second? Come over here. Because you already, like, beat yours, so. Go to the bathroom really fast. Like, sorry, I know this is the middle of the debate, but I ha why are you thinking about cars? <laughs> oh, yeah, did you guys notice the new transportation section, by the way? Yeah, I wanted to bring that up. But she's like, I have to pee. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. She's like, look at her. She's, like, so confident. She's so cute. She's all happy. She's like, I just won my first debate ever. Oh, my God. I can't wait to call my parents. Oh, it looks like Supriya won. I saw the thumbs up and thumbs down from over here. I don't know if the judges are the judges. <gasps> They're writing down a winner. I'm so scared. Who are they writing down the winner of? Who who wins? And is that thing gonna pop up on the floor again? What was that? It looks like a medal. I'm so annoyed. Hurry up and pee because we want to see who's gonna win. You cannot miss this. And I already participated. It says Olive has already participated in the debate showdown, so I can't do it again. Everybody's standing up. Okay, are they gonna decide who's winning? Go back over there. Hurry up. Okay, no. Okay, when does this end? I'm so curious. Uh, 2 p.m. So I think there's one more debate left, and then that's when uh, they'll decide the winner. I really hope she wins. Olive deserves it. She works so hard. <laughs> she's like, what's wrong with her? Oh, she's exhausted already. Olive, you didn't even start your day. You're exhausted. Oh my god, that was a quick debate. Paka Aha beat Michaela Yanez, like, super quick. Oh my god, the judges love her though. No. So Priya is triumphant. No. So Priya is a triumphant champion of this week's debate showdown. That was a well debated debate. Uh, really? How? I should have schmoozed them or something. I don't know. Can you even do that? I wonder. But um, anyway, uh, excuse me. She has to attend a guest lecture. Can she do that right now? Wonder. Um. Uh, okay, between 5 and 7 p.m. Okay, but she can sit on a skill class and she can definitely tutor someone, so that's pretty cool. But, um, yeah, her debate is over. Maybe we can get, like, a coffee or something to, like, you know, let's get a ristretto. Sounds fancy. It'll keep us up, you know, while we're out doing things. So, I'm so happy her first debate. Yay, good for her. Where'd you put the coffee? Okay. <laughs> Drink with desperation. Oh my god. <laughs> She's like, oh my god. I'm so desperate. I'm so freaking tired. I need coffee. Oh my god. Okay, so the debate is ending in one hour. It pretty much is over. I don't understand. I think we deserve to win, but I mean, whatever. Whatever. Uh, when's the next showdown? It's in like seven days, so we're fine. So she's good. Wow. She's just drinking her coffee, talking to Nancy Landgrab. We're like, what are you doing here? You're like super rich and fancy. She's like, my family paid for Foxbury. I'm just, you know, checking out the stiff competition. And she just leaves. <laughs> um, 
Let me see. Uh, she could go over here and get some university info if she wanted. I don't know what else do you want to do today, Olive? Like, it's all about you today. All about you, girl, on your 16th birthday. <laughs> oh my. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Olive is super, super boring. Like, she doesn't. But she's becoming good friends with Paka. Ah. I'm gonna have to change that girl. I cannot. I cannot. That name. Oh, maybe we should invite Angela and Julia out. That would be cool. Let's do that. Maybe we'll do that. Um, let's see. I also noticed that, like, uh, your real outfits come up here, but she'll be stuck in that outfit, I think, for a little bit. Like, oh, there. Okay, well, that fixed it. But I know my, like, private gameplay. Oh, you better not be getting sick. Don't even. Um, I'm gonna go out to, uh... We're gonna go to the library. We're gonna go have a little study sesh, okay? We're gonna go and I wanna actually, I'm gonna invite them over when I get, yeah, we're gonna go to go with Angela and Julia. Oh my God. Julia's a part of the secret society. <gasps> we're gonna have to explore that later. We're gonna let her be because she's doing her little secret society stuff. Um, we'll probably explore that later. Oh, it's exciting. Oh my God. There's so much to do. Oh, I have to say I'm really excited with this pack i love it so much so far like it, there's a lot of content this has to be one of the best expansions for the sims 4 there's a lot of stuff that we haven't even touched base on yet so hey angela hey girl what's up let's go talk to her tell her funny story like how's your day you look so cute today i'm exhausted but don't mind me you know let's just hang out here for a bit let's chill what do you what do you got going on <laughs> um let me see she can actually, uh, we can cheat on her homework. Oh my god, I'm gonna have McKenna try that once. Let's see how she does. <laughs> she can cheat on her term paper. Oh my god, I would never, but she has to write a term paper. So I was gonna have her, I was actually gonna have her study, but she does have a term paper to write. I don't know. Maybe she should do that. Can she, like, study with Angela or something? I don't know how that goes. What's wrong? Oh, she said something really awkward to Angela. Angela just didn't like it well she's kind of embarrassed now she's like oh i'm sorry and angel's like it's cool just don't say it again <laughs> Jeez, what a boring library what else you can do in here so we can actually go research maybe we'll do that maybe we'll just we can go prep for our debate and we can study for our classes so i would like to study for our classes but the thing is that everybody's on the freaking computer so you know, maybe we'll just have a writer's room. Where's Angela at anywhere? Did she, is she leaving? Angela? Where are you going? Can you stop with trying to schmooze over these students? Like, go away. Simeon Silver Sweater, why are you here? Aren't you a mage or something? Go away. And why is this five-star celebrity here? Go away. Oh, my God. I wish, wish I could see some more pre-generated, like, uni students. So, Angela, oh, Angela's neat. She's like, oh, good. I wish you were my roommate instead of my sister. <laughs> we're going to brighten her day. We shouldn't even be able to complain about textbooks' costs because, honestly, textbooks aren't even that expensive in this game. Oh, my God, we can ask her to join our house. Like, just leave your sister. It's fine. Come join our house. Uh, I'm actually going to have her come over here, and we're just going to... Oop university uh we're gonna start writing our term paper for our history of perception because you know she does she doesn't go out often but when she does she has to enjoy herself a little bit oh why don't you start writing your term paper oh you do need to do, attend a guest lecture but i mean you could do that another time no it's i think so i mean i guess we could do it now it doesn't really matter to me they said between five and seven so instead of starting your term paper let's actually just head back so it was nice to chill with you angela but we're exhausted, and you're clearly not interested in hanging out with us today. And I don't have time for it, so we're gonna go. Oh my god, she's just... What is she doing? Is she riding her bike in here? Oh my... Oh my god. <laughs> oh jeez.
Okay, guys, wait. Oh, no, 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 no. I went to the wrong spot. <laughs> I had her go home. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Um, <clears throat> you know what? Fine. We're going to stay home, actually, because she's exhausted anyway. So, a guest lecture just isn't the best idea right now. I'm just going to have her come up. Her day is just so sad. Um, can she print, present it? Oh, only on weekdays between 8 a.m. and 4.30. And what are you doing on our computer? <sighs> McKenna, honestly, we don't like you like that. So, please don't touch our stuff. <clears throat> We're going to go start writing our term paper in there. I think she's going to go to bed. Ala's day was kind of, like, low-key boring. I mean, she had a big debate today. I mean, that's cool. She hung out with Angela for a little bit at the library. But, you know, she did... She kind of had, like, a little bit of a slow day. Because, again, she's, like, the focused on school one, prioritizing homework and all that stuff. She does, like, all the boring stuff. But Kenna's the one that does all the fun stuff, like pranking schools and, you know, going to soccer games, stuff like that. Oh, and there's a soccer game at Ubright, actually, today. Oh, and an eSports match at Foxbury. Oh, my God, which one should we go to? Well, considering it's a McKenna, it's an Olive Day, maybe Olive will go to her own soccer game for once. It's 6 o'clock, and it's Saturday, and she... She's way too exhausted for a soccer game. Like she doesn't get to ha she doesn't have any fun. Look at her. She's so boring, low key boring. Like look at her. She's like I'm not going to a soccer game. I have a paper to write. Like I have a, a, a paper due next week, and I don't have time to be partying and going out to soccer games. So here she is. Oh, I furnished her room a little bit with some of the stuff we got from her, uh, the university kiosk. Um, so we got her little plant, and I got her the you write thing and the rug, obviously. <laughs> um. I'm gonna get her. A, I'm actually just gonna get go into build mode real quick and get her a bright Chester poster. Just, just cause you know she's proud of her school. You know, it's the school her parents went to. She wants to make them proud. You know, it means a lot to her. So I'm. Um, I want to say it's in here. Uh oh, it is, but I can't unlock it. I have to actually go buy one. Okay, that's fine. Uh, we'll do that. Oh, sorry. <clears throat> It was like McKenna's talking to her. Oh my god, McKenna actually hugged her sister. Is she sick? She was like, you know, you're not so bad, I guess. She's like, really? She's like, no, your school still sucks. <laughs> my team won yesterday, and your team lost. She's like, you know, you don't have to be so rude all the time. She's like, yeah, I do. So suck it up and stop talking to me. So she's just going to come over here and practice her guitar, which always pisses off olive that's why she just like leaves the room because she's like she's gonna come over here and play this loud guitar and i don't want to hear it and mckenna you put on a bit of weight haven't you like wow you, you okay <laughs> look at her she's jamming out though get it girl oh here comes the the ghouls of death smoke and everything and the lights yes because it's grim's ghoulish guitar it would be so funny if grim Reaper popped up while she was playing and just you know, oh, Olive, you're so, she's so miserable. Look, it's that uni life. Like, no time to play, no time for fun and games, no time for soccer games. Just uni life sleeping. Yep. Sounds about right. So, I mean, Olive's heart was pretty, like, lackluster, but uh, her dad's calling. Let's see what he wants. He's calling. He's like, hey, maybe you guys could come home tomorrow just to visit and blah, blah, blah. And McKenna's like, look at him. He's like, you guys come home. And we're like, she's like, no, dad, we're fine. And... I'm, she's like, I'm not going anywhere near mom right now. I'm still very pissed at her for what she tried to do when I tried to get into uni. And I'm pissed off at her for trying to make me choose you, Bright. And he's like, you know your mom loves you. She's like, whatever, dad. She still won't talk to me because I'm going to Foxbury. So I don't really care what she wants right now. He's like, give it time. And she's like, uh-huh, sure. Anyway, dad, I am I gotta go. You know, I'm busy doing homework. Or what, she's really not, but she's just trying to get him off the phone. So she's like, I gotta go. I'm busy doing homework. Good talking to you, though. Give no kisses for me. Bye. <laughs> so, yeah, there's that. And then tomorrow is bar night. And then maybe we'll get to meet the, the freaking mascot. Because I haven't seen one of the mascots yet. So hopefully they'll get to meet one of their mascots soon and take pictures with them. Uh, until then, I think I'm just gonna end this part here, guys. So, uh, okay. We're gonna have her... Does she have her... Oh, she has to start on her presentation. She's barely started her. She didn't start hers, actually. Now that I'm thinking about it. She has not touched her presentation, like, at all. So I'm gonna place it somewhere and have her, like, start working on that right now. Here. Let's start working on your presentation. And your sister is exhausted. She's hungry. She's so annoyed with you because you never clean up after yourself. Like, she's going to have a talk with her as, about cleaning up. <sighs> Let's have some opera and soda or something. I don't 
don't know. Let's uh, actually we'll just have a PB and J. You know, she's just too tired to eat, cook, or you know what? Instead of that, we'll have ramen. You know, you're too quiet. Instant noodles. I, I don't like how the instant noodles look exactly like the freaking noodles from City Living, but I mean, it is what it is. It's fine. Whatever. Um, maybe they'll update it. I did expect like a cup of noodles, and I was so hoping that they come. They come with Chinese food this time, like in Sims Two. Ugh. Maybe another update. I do know there's some more options for pizza, so maybe we'll do that. Maybe we'll have them order pizza or something tomorrow, you know? So, uh, yeah. I'm just gonna end this part here. You go capture your information. What are you doing? Uh, and look at Olive. She's so miserable. She's so tired and hungry. She's like, oh, what a day. You've barely done anything. Look at her. She's just so focused on school. And then tomorrow, she's just gonna be here doing her homework all day while McKenna is go out doing fun stuff, as usual. Maybe... Maybe we can have one bite. Oh my god, dad, leave us alone. Jeez, we're gonna start ignoring his calls all the time. <laughs> so she's starting her project, and Olive is over here eating her noodles. And then tomorrow, maybe, I don't know, maybe McKenna will get to know more people on campus because her and Lilith barely got to know each other. And it's time for McKenna to like go out there and make friends. So Lilith and Cameron, maybe we're gonna invite them out to the bar and just hang out or something. I don't know. Go do some stupid stuff. Just get crazy. Have fun. It's university. <laughs> Alright guys, so uh, I'm going to end this part here. So I said that five times that I'm serious this time. But thank you guys so much for watching. And remember to always stay bright. And I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.